Greetings from Southern Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Well, as the title dictates, we bought a K truck. The specific one, we'll show you in a second, but we also towed it behind the Jeep, which was actually surprisingly good. Didn't have any problems. A little eco diesel, just chug, 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 chug. There was a couple, I'll get into it, but there was a couple little things going on that we had to be a little bit different about, but I did research beforehand. Want to apologize for the background noise. The goats are getting their hoofs trimmed today. So they are less than happy about the fact that some of them, including the babies, are still locked up. So the mamas are a little bit meh. Nah. They're perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong. It's just they're impatient. Anyhow, back to what you came for. So. As far as K trucks go, we looked for a while. We ended up finding a Dihatsu High Jet Hard Dump PTO Dump. So this actually has the hard bed on it versus a soft bed. If you don't know K trucks, soft bed would basically be like a dumping pickup truck. So whatever the bed they had on it, they put a hydraulic cylinder on it and it dump. This one has an actual aftermarket dump bed on it that works off a of PTO for hydraulics. It wasn't necessarily cheap, but it wasn't necessarily overly expensive. We sold the K&AM and that covered 95% of the cost of this. Yes, we sold our K&AM Commander so that we could get a mini dump truck. Because realistically, a mini dump truck is going to be a lot more handy on the homestead than the K&AM. We've driven the Can-Am three miles in three years, so they're not, it, we weren't using it. We're gonna use this a lot more. Hopefully, in the next coming days, I can get this registered as well so that I can drive it, you know, to Tractor Supply, Lowe's, Home Depot, farmer's markets, animal swaps. Because one of the things with a K truck, they always say, is wherever you go, you have a friend. Well, we were in Burlington, North Carolina, Towing back, we stopped at a Sheets, grabbed some food and, you know, requisite rest area and whatnot. And had a guy just come up and start talking to me about it. Haven't even got it off the trailer. I've driven it a grand total of a quarter mile. Most of that was getting on the trailer. So we will get into the specifics on this one after I get it off the trailer. If you see me distracted, the baby's taking a nap right now. So I'm monitoring off and on making sure everything's good but i think we need to go ahead and unstrap it and get it off the oh wait no side note if you look this is a six by ten trailer well we had to get a little creative on loading it because the front is a little bit longer so Those are literally oil change ramps. You know those metal ramps or plastic ramps that everyone has to do oil changes? Yeah. I just threw those on the back of the Jeep when we went down there and I was able to drive it right up. We initially had them too far forward. We measured, backed off, slid them back a little, pulled it back up so that we had the proper weight over the axle. And it worked out primo. Uh, 70 miles an hour, she didn't really go too far. I don't think we lost too much off the altitude as far as uh, dropping down. She didn't sway. She didn't push the Jeep around. I mean, the roads were kind of yeah, wonky at times, but it towed just fine. If you're looking at buying one of these K trucks and you have a 5x10 or a 6x10 trailer, bring something to elevate it or you're going to have to hang the back end out off the trailer, which could put the, depending on the model, could put your weight ratio out of whack a little. With this one particular, the radiator is right about here. The engine is right about here. So the Datsu, the engine's a little bit further back than the Suzuki. The Honda, it's all the way in the back forward of the rear axle and the Subarus are all the way all the way back in the back of or behind the axle. As far as this K truck goes, 
one of the reasons we looked at a hard dump was for the utilitarian use of it. We're not always going to be hauling just manure and wood chips, although even with the wood chips when we're loading the back of the dump trailer, those wood chips can come out of there pretty powerful. They've actually dented the tailgate on the ram once or twice. So having something a little bit more solid of a bed is much more beneficial to us. As well as, this one doesn't come with a rear locker. But it does come with air conditioning, which if you are in the south, and or ever been in the south in summer, the air conditioner could be very handy at times. So, let's see if we can uh, get into some trouble. Whoops. Yep, we got into trouble all right. There we go, first gear. here just because oh. didn't quite make it did we I think this might be a three point turn yay we made it No, it would have been so much cooler on that one. I hadn't stalled it out going up the hill. I can't feel the friction point in the clutch. Anyhow. I reverse, two wheel drive. I don't know, do we want it? Yeah, we'll park it here for now. Why not? So, unfortunately, I didn't get as far into this as I wanted. Hmm. But, it is interesting. Here's the Dahatsu. Here's the Samurai. Yeah. <laughs> kind of cute either way you look at them. Uh, I'll get into more specifics on this Dihatsu at a later time. Uh, we're still learning it. I don't even know if it's fuel injected or carbureted, even though I think it's fuel injected because it's got an eco button on it. Uh, if you know, leave a comment down below. But it is a 97 Dihatsu 4x4 K truck. I have a feeling it's going to get a lot more use than just moving some bricks. I was actually hoping to move some mulch today, but eh, we're 10 minutes to sunset. Not going to happen. But I do believe that this thing is going to be very handy around the homestead. Uh, with a little luck, we might actually be able to get this streetable in Virginia. I'm not going to count my eggs before they hatch, though. So, I guess the next scene will be, did I get plates? Didn't I get plates? I thought I'd just follow up because I don't remember if I closed out the video or not. I think I did. I was talking about content, but then I probably got distracted, so... Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you. You'll see us on the next one. Bye.